right, today we're going to be reading from Susan and James Patterson, Cuddly Critters for Little Geniuses. So this is a picture book all about different cuddly critters and some interesting facts about them. Some animals you might not even know. So if one sounds interesting to you, make sure you write it down so that way you can do your project on it. But I can't wait to see what you research this week. All right, Cuddly Critters for Little Geniuses. These are the flyers. We have the scarlet macaw. This smart bird can imitate words and do tricks and even knows its shapes and colors. The scarlet macaw can live up to 80 years. Rosate spoonbill. Eating pink algae turns the rosate spoonbill's feathers pink like cotton candy with red peppermint stripes. It has a flat spoon shaped bill that helps it dig for food. We have the royal flycatcher. The royal flycatcher has spectacular plumage or feathers on its head that looks like brightly colored fan. It can build a nest up to six feet long. Sunset moth. This colorful insect is often mistaken for a butterfly. Its dreamy shimmering wings have made it an inspiration for jewelry and other art. Sugar glider. This tree dweller rarely ever touches the ground. With parachute-like webbing between its arms and legs, sugar gliders can glide as far as half a football field. Toucan. The toucan makes funny noises with its colorful bill. It sounds like a cross between a pig and a frog. Its heavy bill and short wings mean it's not the best flyer. Snowy Owl. Like its name suggests, the snowy owl can live in very cold places with temperatures as low as 40 degrees below zero. It's such a fast and powerful flyer that it can knock down a grown man. Lovebird. One of the smallest kinds of parrots, the lovebird, got its name because it stays with one mate for their entire life. After being separated, lovebirds will feed each other to show their love. Patoot. This bird can hide in plain sight. It looks like a tree branch when it sits still. Even the potoot chicks hardly move. Their white baby feathers make them look like tree fungus. Sanda kulongo. Living alone, living only in trees, the Sanda kulongo can leap so far between branches that it seems to be flying. When it's scared, it climbs up, up, up to the top of the tree to escape any trouble. Now we're going to the swimmers. The Irwadi dolphin. These playful creatures speak to one another by making clicking, creaking, and buzzing sounds. Irwadi dolphins always look like they have a big smile on their face. And the hooded seal. When the hooded seal gets scared or excited, its nose blows up like a big red balloon, so it looks like a clown. Blanket octopus. With wide webbing between its arms, the blanket octopus can look scary to its enemies. Females can grow to be more than six feet, but males are only about an inch long. Parrotfish. From its bird-like beak to it's easy to see how the parrotfish got its name. At night, it produces a special cocoon over its skin so predators can't smell it while it sleeps. The Dumbo octopus. Unlike other octopuses, the adorable Dumbo octopus lives so deep in the ocean that only that it doesn't need to squirt ink to hide itself because the water is already dark. And the blobfish. The blobfish looks like a normal fish at the bottom of the sea where the water is heavier, but its soft bones and skin droop into a blob when it comes to the surface. The blue dragon. Look, but don't touch. The blue dragon is a sea slug that can float upside down. It's small and beautiful, but it's also tough. It gives a painful sting. Ugh, an exolotl? Also called a walking fish, the exolotl is a salamander with feathery gills that let it breathe underwater. With its cute face and ageless smile, it's adorable. 
the angel shark. With a head as flat as a pancake, the angel shark waits near the floor of the ocean for prey to swim above, then launches up quickly to catch dinner. Pufferfish. To scare off enemies, the pufferfish can swallow a lot of water to blow itself up like a balloon. It can puff up to more than double its normal size. There's a lot of cool animals in this book. Some I've never even heard before, and I might even be saying their names wrong. All right, we're moving on to the crawlers. The wombat. Though it can run fast, the wombat can take up to two weeks to digest a meal. This slow process makes its poop come out in the shape of cubes. The Angora rabbit. Underneath that soft and fluffy mop of fur, the Angora rabbit, it needs to eat a lot of hay to help digest the fur it accidentally swallows while grooming itself. Oops. Hedgehog. Even though it's small, the hedgehog is very fast. It can run six feet per second. This shy creature is covered in 7,000 sharp quills that keep the nosy neighbors out. And the badger. Fierce and powerful, the mighty badger can force large animals away with sheer toughness. Thick and loose skin make this mean, clean digging machine almost impossible to hurt. Go badgers! The margay. It may look like a cat, but the margay will never get stuck in a tree. It can crawl down headfirst thanks to its flexible ankles. It also is very strong, and it can hang from a branch by one paw. The tree kangaroo. With its strong legs, the tree kangaroo can jump to the ground from a branch six stories high. It also keeps cool in the summertime by licking its fur on its arms. The tarsier. This critter has a funny face. Each of the tarsier's huge eyes is heavier than this whole brain. It can also rotate its head 180 degrees, like an owl. The Tonkin Monkey. The Tonkin Monkey talks to one another. They sound like they're hiccuping. These are rare animals that love to groom each other and pick bugs out of their friend's fur. Blue Poison Dart Frog. Beware of the cute little frog that's no bigger than a paperclip. Kiss this frog and you'll get sick. The Plowshare Tortoise. Because the bamboo forests they live in are disappearing, plowshare tortoises are endangered, which means there's only a few left living in the wild. The taper. On hot days, the taper loves to swim to cool off. It can hold its breath for a few minutes underwater. If it wants to stay down longer, it uses its snout as a snorkel. AA. This silly looking AA has big ears that help it listen for bugs crawling inside trees. Then it uses its very long middle fingers to poke into holes to get the bugs out and eat them. The red panda. The red panda uses its large bushy tail as a blanket to keep warm in the cold mountain and keep its balance while climbing trees. The markhor. With its large curved horns, the markhor goat can scratch its own back. That's relaxing. It has excellent climbing skills to quickly scale mountains and escape enemies. The maned wolf. When in danger, the maned wolf puffs out the black fur on its back to look bigger and scarier. It smells so bad that its nickname is the skunk wolf. The garnook. The antelope, this little antelope has a very long neck like a giraffe. It stands on its hind legs to reach high branches and never has to drink water because it eats so many leaves. The Dick Dick. The little Dick Dick's funny name comes from the whistling noise it makes when it's scared. It can do a neat trick. It can whistle with its nose. The Bongo. This antelope's horns that each, this antelope has horns that each have one and a half twists like it's it likes to take mud baths to stay cool on hot, muggy days, and its name sure is fun to say. Bongo. Southern Red Muntjac. The Southern Red Muntjac is a small deer, but it bravely wrestles with bigger animals using its antlers. It also barks just like a dog. There's a lot of really cool animals. 
pangolin. The only mammal in the world that's covered in scales is called the pangolin. It can eat up to 20,000 ants a day. Yum. Enchidna. The enchidna looks like it's made from parts of many different animals, like a porcupine spine, a bird's beak, a kangaroo's tummy pouch, and it has an extra long claw on its second toe to groom its super spiky spines. The fennec fox. Though it may be the smallest fox in the world, the fennec fox has gigantic ears. Their big size helps the fox hear prey underground and also keeps it cool in the hot desert where it lives. Chinchilla. It has the softest fur and the sharpest teeth around. The chirpy chinchilla can jump six feet high, but watch out, it might pee on you if it gets scared. It also likes to eat its own poop. Pink fairy armadillo. The pink fairy armadillo is good at digging with its big claws that it seems to swim through the ground. It curls up inside of its shell to stay safe. Panther chameleon. Thousands of kaleidoscope crystals on the panther chameleon skin let it blend in and hide. Its tongue is 26 times longer than its body and its eyes can move in different directions. The panda ant. Bet you can guess how this panda ant got its name. It looks like a panda, right? But it's a wasp that can tip a cow over with its nasty sting. Jerboa. What looks like a mix of a mouse and a kangaroo? An adorable little jerboa. It can jump almost seven feet in the air and run fast in zigzags. Ardwolf. To mark its territory, the ardwolf creates a musky juice while chuckling, chuck, <laughs> clucking and barking to keep unwanted guests away. With its long sticky tongue, it can eat thousands of termites in one lick. And that, my friend, is the end of the story. And as you can see, we have James Patterson and lovely Susan Patterson. And they have written this beautiful book all about these, all these cuddly and creative creatures. And I can't wait to see what you find out when you do some more investigating of your own on these great creatures. So can't wait to see what you create. Bye.